Hey there berries, welcome to a Seraphine support game in Diamond 2 EU West. We're playing with a Samira, which is a bit of a weird link up with Samira. Uh, with uh, Seraphine Samira is a bit weird. Um, we're up against like the old classic of Ezreal Yumi. So, it is pretty weird, like the two matchups. I haven't seen an Ezreal Yumi combo for a really, really long time. And I've never seen Samira with a Seraphine, so... This is all going to be uh, fresh. Like, there's no gin, for example, so that's nice. We have a few things here that can actually interrupt the Yumi in terms of like how she dashes around and stuff. So as long as she just gets rooted, it means it puts her W on a five second cooldown. So my double cast E can do that. Um, and also we've got our ultimate. The charm will obviously break that. But I'm not entirely sure how this laning phase is going to go. I think what will most likely happen is, is that Samira will get poked down and then we'll have to recall and stuff. But I'm not too sure on kill potential until like we hit level 6. I think Samira needs to help with that much. Gonna probably max Q first. Oh my god, I'm trolling with that E. That was not even remotely close. I swear like 50% of the time when I'm playing Seraphine, my E is like my first warm-up E is just completely garbage. Don't know why that is. I oh, got a passive ready again. Actually, uh, we took a lot of damage there, but Yumi can obviously heal up. Probably gonna win this trade unless we can deal back. Just not gonna happen. I might just have to do an early recall here. Just pick up an early fairy charm. Might be the thing to do here. Nidley's still mid. It's gonna get fairy charm and a refillable. Alright, this should help. It's gonna leave Samir a little bit fragile here at the start. Would it be worth picking for Oblivion Orb to reduce the Yumi healing here? I mean, they have got a lot of healing on the team. Um, Airs Conqueror, Swain, Ulti, Nidalee heals. So, I think an Oblivion Orb is going to be worth it this game. I think I'm going to still prioritize on rushing Imperial Mandate, but that is something that we can look at for sure as a part of our second item. May I come out from the basement now? No. Bizzle, lurk. Hey Lizzie, thank you for the resub. Hope you're doing well. Toward the river. That nearly is three zero. My fans are the reason I sing. I'm 
doing a great job missing most of my stuff. Just mainly just want gold stacks and mana flow band stacks. Not entirely sure about Samira leaving with the wave as it is. But doesn't like, I think the Ezra and Yumi could probably be a bit more aggressive here. I mean, it's pretty obvious that Samira isn't here. Uh, their bot lane's gonna want to start getting ready to go back soon. Shut down. You mean? Wow. That happened just instantly, didn't it? One minor misplay, that was it. Bit of a mess going on. I haven't got a ward for the river. this in so I can recall. Okay. Quite a slow start to the game from bot lane perspective, but we are ahead even though it doesn't really feel like it. Lucian 0 3 mid right now. At least 4 1. We're gonna start having her behind coming, like, probably from here, I'd imagine. Whoa. Okay. Well. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Kind of panicked a bit then. But she didn't get the Krux, at least, anyway. I got them. Do I sometimes use Area over Comet? Um, unlike Jenna, I choose Area over Comet. On stuff like Zyra, I choose Comet. Sometimes it depends on, like, if the champion can do a lot of auto attacks off or not in the trades early and that if you can then airy usually is better but if you're just relying on like max range poke then comet usually does better I'm not sure exactly where Yumi is right now. I don't know if she's attached to the Nidalee now. And I've got one ward for this. She was attached to Nidalee? Okay. So my theory was correct. Yeah, I didn't see that on the minimap. Yumi's back down to bot side. Oh my god, okay. Samira's getting out traded like crazy there actually with those Ezra Qs. 
no point ulting just yet. I kind of want to see if I can get the Yumi in unattached form. James Samira got caught up in the um, Yumi L2. Bit of a disaster. Nearly got Harold. She's on five kills. Lucian one four. Nunu zero four. Any stay in Feynman? Hmm. <laughs> sure, something like that. Decent wards against the Nidalee. We shouldn't be caught off guard. But we'll see. I don't like this at all. Right, I'm not her. I'm not her. Okay, it's for the best. I didn't get the kill. I was more hoping that Lucian would. It's a decent shot down. Samira can go mid now. Okay, just gotta keep playing around my ulti. Like my main dam damaging abilities don't do that much. Deadly kill gave me some more cooldown towards my ulti with the ultimate hunter. My fans are the I yeah, on the Nidalee because she's super fed. Makes sense. She's being so aggressive here with um what's not the charm in but oh i'm dead no yes maybe 10 hp not even close baby be here. I'm 
isn't that Okay, I think the poppy should have just tried to go for me there. No, got nothing else. Yeah, we're gonna need Grievous Wounds in. Ended up being three for five. Just that no one getting to catch the Yumi there was the big one. She was unattached a couple of times there, but yeah. So low. Is this rooted though? Ow. Don't have an interrupt for the Yumi yet. Ah! It's literally just about to come off. Need like the Lulu to polymorph the, uh, the Yumi sometimes. Having to go Morale means I don't have extra cooldown reduction for a little while. Lucian has Executioners. Checking into Doom here. Yeah. Nearly spot with Yumi. Got Ulti coming up. Did land the charm. Okay. Like Samir is so weak compared to the Ezreal. Like they have roughly the same amount of gold, but like the just one SQ is just devastating. Okay, it's not warded. Otherwise, it would have already have died. <laughs> I think it's going to be a Nash's tooth, Lulu. Just need to keep focusing on just doing those ultis. And clean ultis every time. It's like literally like all I can do to turn fights. How's Lily doing? She's 3 1 3 at the moment. But I don't know how useful she's actually going to be in the fights, though. We'll find out soon, I guess. I kind of want to get a good ulti here, but 
At the same time, people are quite low. Quality there for me. Problem is, we just don't have a front line. Like, Nunu dies really, really, really fast, and I don't think he has. He has no substantial magic resistance. I don't think he'll ever be at a stage where he's going to be like. We're going to appreciate if he's actually going to be tanky or not. That's a nice snowball into the Swain. He should die there. He should be dead there. He does die, but it takes an awful long time. Poppy's pushing in bot for free right now. Gonna be their mountain drake. Okay, it's not too crazy like the mountain drakes for their team. I guess Poppy's gonna get more tanky, but that's about it. I mean, it could be worth to purchase the Morellanomicon. They could be doing the Baron. And Ez wasn't on it, that's something, I guess. It's a fresh ward, but not from Yumu. It's a situation you build for AP Sarah. To be honest, this is kind of for AP Sarah. I don't think the enchantment items on her are that good. That the only way she's got to proc them is the W. And even when you max it, it's still a massively long cooldown. Again, you tell us a fresh ward, the duration, you see like that white bar? Now it shows you if it's a fresh ward or not. We'll see if you click it. You see this buff here, the stealth ward that tells you it's from a sight stone, so from a support as well. So Poppy basically put down that ward there that I got rid of. Ow. That sucks. Right, this is horrible, yeah. I don't know why, for some reason I thought we could just burst down the Nidley there, but it, like, yeah, never mind. <clears throat> They're doing Baron, and I don't think we can stop it. Just pick up Marilla at this rate. Need a spike in so cool. item power. Just like this, Azrael is stronger than both our AD Garys like put together, and they can just poke for as long as they want and then just engage with the poppy. Or if Trust Swain can try and force them engage in. I 
it's quite a slow game, isn't it? But it's just we are massively far behind. And I guess the enemy could be pushing in more, but they're not. But I wouldn't say like our late game is particularly special. Like a lot of our teammates need armor penetration to deal with the poppy later on. Level 15. Like, Samira's not gonna have enough AD to get through the poppy. Just being annoying with the super creeps. So many sounds I've never heard before. Can't wait it's gonna be that dragon me. again. Nunu misses Snowball. Okay. Well, we got a flash, but like, we weren't ever going to get a kill. Like, she's got 250 of all resistances. Oh, I'm dead. I'm actually going to die here. Yeah. Yeah. Swain should fall. Should. Poppy's starting to take some damage here now. Lucian's Kraken Slayer actually gets thrown to the Poppy a little bit, but we're going to lose mid tier 3. Maybe more. Might be delete the whole game here, depending on how this fight goes. Here's Nidley with the cleanup. Simmeras needs a couple more style points. Okay, that's four of them, but we lose tier 3 mid and inhib. I think that's... Okay. It's not amazing, but I think we're all going to lose an inhib anyway. Like, very soon anyway. At least we get four kills for it. Now Samira's got a last whisper. Yeah, we also got XP as well. It's a fair comment to make Oz. We're lucky we might get a cheeky turret as well but might be too much to ask for maybe oh yeah okay and a tier one turret who scales better i think we probably do but the margins are slim and the deficit is huge Like, stuff from us needs to land. Like, if everything lands from both teams, the fight is extremely close. But in this current state, they win. If this game goes on for, like, 40 minutes, and Lucian and, and the Samira start having full items, then it's going to mitigate the fact that Nidalee has a lot of items. Because we can then just blow her up pretty quickly. Can you win if they get Mountain Soul? Um... 10% chance. Can we just pop three oracles there in one go? Oh crap. Well, 
I've got no more vision. You need to go straight back. They're not going to start, so are they? They might start it. It's a big wave top. We've got a wave pushing our bot side, so at least we don't have to worry about that, but... Yeah, entering into face check territory. We need Nunu to do that. They're on it. We can get a massive charm here, potentially. Let's see for the perfect moment. Alright, the only person I got there was Ezreal. Our team was completely zoned off by Poppy. Yeah, Chichu. Like, Poppy was standing here, and we had three of our teammates here just completely, like, unable to do anything. Yeah, GG. I mean, I didn't like our team composition anyway, to be honest, but... It is what it is. That Lulu didn't even buy any um, magic penetration either. Yeah. Like this kind of game we needed like Lucian to probably pick up a black lever if possible. I don't know. Like this whole team comp's just a mess really, isn't it? What's the damage done? Yeah. I kind of just... Samira's damage. Samira pick with the Seraphine just made no sense because it's just like there's nothing to synergy with there. Like double poke with the Seraphine would make sense. Like a Caitlyn or something like that. but Or an Ezreal. But um, Seraphine like usually does better with like a hard engage. And yeah, I don't know. It just made no sense. The Seraphine. Uh, the uh, Samira pick at least. Because I'd already had first pick Seraphine. Lucian getting slammed by Nidalee mid is a shame. Because I think he could have done pretty decently against the Swain under normal circumstances. Like if Swain casts E, you dash, dash to the side and then you don't get rooted. Um, but then you got like the Lulu top who did, did okay against the Poppy early. Which, you know, is a range versus melee matchup. But honestly, I didn't really see it doing a hell of a lot that game. It didn't seem like that useful at all. I mean, on the damage here, she apparently did like 19k, but I bet a lot of that though was like a lot of the um, the laning phase, just auto hits and stuff. So yeah, GG.